Reverend Samuel Mugisha is a livestock farmer in Ikiruhura district in western Uganda. Like many other farmers across the country, Mugisha has lost cattle to tick-borne diseases. Many of our farmers lost their cattle and even they are still losing. The situation is made worse by the fact that over time, the ticks have become resistant to the acaricides that they are regularly sprayed with. We got these resistant ticks. We have been with that problem and it is still there. Milk production has gone down. And that is where people get their income to, to, to run their homes. Now, a solution to this problem has been found. Livestock scientists at the National Agricultural Research Organization, NARO, have made a scientific breakthrough in developing an anti-tick vaccine. And ladies and gentlemen, for information, the anti-tick vaccine is ready, it's within the country. We have 2,500 doses that are ready to be launched in Mbarara, Zadi, in Kiburara government prison farm, in Isimba prison, in Oima, in Marusi, in Apache, then in Onabuin in Nabilatuk district. We are now ready. This innovation was unveiled yesterday to the Minister of Agriculture, Frank Tumwebaze, at the National Livestock Research Institute at Nache Sasa in Namulonge in Wakiso district. Oh my God. I want that uh, Achori style of Kalulu. The way the Achoris do it. Eh? It's great news for the farmers in fighting ticks and tick bone. If this can be real. According to Dr. Moses Dikusoka, a livestock vaccine researcher, the vaccine has been developed from local tick varieties that affect farmers in Uganda and the region. We developed an anti tick vaccine from the exact ticks that we are having in the country. A similar anti tick vaccine was developed in Chuba and it helped them to eradicate the use of acaricides. And they have now market for their animals. We have done the same as Naro. According to the scientists, this scientific breakthrough is expected to offer a long-lasting solution to Uganda's tick problems. The country loses 3.8 trillion Ugandan shillings due to tick and tick bone diseases annually. This time I will be talking with pride because I will, I will simply tell them, compute the economic losses to the country occasioned by ticks and tick bone diseases. So really, your case now will be an easy one to sell. Livestock scientists have proved that the vaccines can kill brown ear, bone and blue tick varieties, which are common in eastern Central Africa. They are responsible for spreading diseases like East Coast fever, anaprasmosis and babesiosis or red water. So after testing them, we went ahead and proved the regulatory authorities in Uganda that you have a product. The sciences will also soon unveil findings to deal with the foot and mouth disease and swine fever, which are also ravaging the country. As a sample for FMD and some as samples for African swine fever, as an institution we are ready to produce vaccines for the four priority diseases in livestock in the country. I will ask the entire cabinet to come and be available on that day, headed by the president. So soon I will get back to you to tell you when we shall do these final launches. According to a 2018 report by the Uganda Bureau of Statistics, it is estimated that Uganda has about 14.2 million cattle, 16 million goats, and 4.5 million sheep. Minister Frank Tumwebaze, accompanied by the State Minister for Agriculture, Buino Chakuraga, we are making their maiden visit to the National Livestock Research Institute at Nache Sasa, to assess the several ongoing research projects. Jingo Francis, NTV.